What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. Hope everyone's having a great day. Just want to let you guys know we are taking some pre-orders on some Kyosho and other good hobby stuff here. So uh, the Fox 2.0, they've made some changes to it. I'm going to put all the links in the description below for all the vehicles that I'm talking about for you guys. So if you're interested in one of these, I'll go ahead. Like I said, you just go to this description in the YouTube video and we'll have all of that there. Or you just go over to our website, OMGRC, as you see here, .com check it all out for yourself all the other stuff that we have to offer but uh yeah this uh the nitro version that's here uh if by chance you know i know some people are like oh they really like the payment options and stuff like that hey and that's cool and uh we love klarna why because it protects us protects you and it's all good generally just kind of give you guys a heads up we usually wait 24 hours to get the green light from klarna to make sure that we get approved well, you get approved, we can ship the product out. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind if you do order something like, hey man, why, why is it taking so long for it to get out? Because we have to get the green light from Klarna so we get paid and then you get your product. That's kind of let you know the insight on that one just in case because I've had some where it shows approved and then all of a sudden the Klarna is calling me and like, hey, don't, don't send it out. Uh, that's fraudulent. So I like it. I like that part of it a lot. So big thanks to... Uh, Klarna for that one. Now this one here, as far as the VE, the electric version, it's 4S. It takes two 2S lipos. It's a saddle pack or what have you where the your two 2S lipos are going to be on one on each side. So I like it. This thing's pretty cool. At least on the electric version of it, it has a spot for a second motor in it, which is going to give you a little extra power. But you're going to need at least an electronic speed controller that can handle two motors or you're going to need to double up as far as two electronic speed controllers in there. You know, all that good frankenstein stuff but definitely like it it is a cool truck and you'd probably be pretty happy with it on 4s but if you're like me sometimes you want to give it the extra juice so you know it is what it is but it's definitely i like the way it looks it's gonna be it's on my list to get one of these days as well along with a lot of other rc cars uh any of the habao stuff you guys have already if you've ordered it these things are already shipping out so anybody that already ordered definitely appreciate that from you guys and uh, didn't get a lot of these orders, to be real with you. I think because, of, honestly, the price was a little bit high. In my personal opinion, I'm sure a lot of you guys were saying, whoa, man, the price is much higher than what we expected. And uh, there's a lot of competition in that price range, too. So you got to kind of keep that in mind. Um, it would have been nice if we would have had that at about 100 bucks cheaper. Then it would have been a little, it would have been better. I thought it was going to be about the same price as the previous version, even though this one's extended out a little bit longer. But using a lot of the same components, what have you. It is what it is, but I think that's what turned a lot of people away from ordering these. That's just me. But if you did order one or you have one of them now, let me know what you guys think about these things. If you dig it, if you had the previous version, you're like, oh man, this thing is so much better than you know the last version or so. Now, getting on to Sin Racing. Now, Sin Racing. These things are supposed to be coming out here at the end of the month, uh, which is pretty much almost we're getting there anyway with just about a week left. So hopefully these things come on the slow boat here soon so we can get these things out to you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about these as well. I mean, all input is welcome as far as when it comes to these things. I like the little monster trucks as well. These are one-tenth scale. They look cool. I like the little, you know, Hyperlube that's on there. I do like the orange one. This is kind of reminds me of my Gen 8 from Red Cat. So it kind of like that would be cool to have as well. Other than the fact if I flip too many times, I don't know how long those little light buckets will last on there. I don't know. We'll have to see about that one. But uh, yeah, I like them. They look pretty cool. And they got a lot of upgrades that are coming out for them as well. So that's cool. We got to, we'll have to stay tuned for that one. Now, pre-orders on the Kyosho as far as their Outlaw Rampage Pro. I want to give you guys... An update on this one as well. This one's supposed to come out here at the end of the month into early August as well. If by chance you're, you've been kind of thinking about ordering one of these, uh, this is a kit. So just kind of keep that in mind. And if we scroll down to the bottom, it's going to need all the electronics for it too. It does not come with any electronics. So if you don't have that stuff or you're new to the hobby, might not be the best vehicle to buy if you're brand new to it because it's going to be a little confusing of what you're going to need, what's going to fit, and all that kind of stuff. So, But not to discourage anybody, hey, if they want to buy it for the first time, that's cool, but you're going to probably have questions. But if you're good with that stuff, then you're good to go. So anyway, um, 
but yeah, you're gonna need all the electronics or something, and you know, as of what it requires here. So just to kind of let you know, it's a little bit of a bummer that they, on the price tag a little bit. That's because of the fact that you don't get any electronics with it. So yeah, I, Kyosho and like Tamiya, they're both pretty expensive when it comes to a lot of their products. Anyhow, for what you get, I'm just saying I gotta state it the facts on that one. But uh, when it comes to like their Dodge Hellcat, their Challenger or Charger. Uh, what else is out there? Whatever the other car is as well. Mm. Anyway, uh, the Chevelle. Those are nice cars. I like those cars, but, um, you know, they're the brushed system as well. Those are actually in a good, I think those are a pretty decent price point, to be honest with you. that That's a pretty decent price point. Uh, this, the way the bodies look and everything like that looks really good. So anyway, that's enough of me rambling on on that one. Just kind of giving you my little two cents on it. But until next time, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check us out at omgrc.com. Sign up for our newsletter. Until next time, you guys take care. And again, thank you for watching.